Those who directed their view to the starry sky in past centuries could only conjecture how our cosmic neighbors form. People in the past made the wildest guesses about the other planets of the solar system. Let us consider the example of Venus. Even the experts considered it conceivable until the 1960s that under the dense cloud cover of the celestial body, there slumbered a full-grown jungle world with the most diverse living beings. In step with the first space missions, however, these exciting assumptions began to crumble thanks to the research projects we have completed. We now know that Earth's so-called twin sister is one thing above all, highly toxic and scorching hot. Together with you, we would like to do something today that the scholars of the past could only dream of. Take a detailed look at the other members of our planetary system. Are you excited about the fascinating discoveries and unique spectacles in the universe? Then don't forget to subscribe to Simply Space and click on the bell to never miss one of our videos again in the future. By giving us a thumbs up, you're showing us that we can keep you excited with the content of our posts. Mercury With an equatorial diameter of about 3,000 miles, Mercury is not only the smallest member of our planetary system, but also the closest to the Sun with a mean solar distance of 3.5 million miles. But the small celestial body also enjoys an exceptional position in terms of temperature fluctuations. While the daytime temperature there reaches values of up to 800 degrees Fahrenheit, the thermometer drops to a bone-chillingly cold, negative 270 degrees Fahrenheit, during the night. Especially interesting, apart from Venus, Mercury is the only planet in the solar system that does not have a moon. An exciting approach explains this circumstance with the fact that Mercury may have been once the natural satellite of Venus. A look at the detailed overall view of the celestial body, which was made by the NASA space probe Messenger, shows indeed Mercury has some striking similarities to our Earth's moon. The grayish, shimmering outside of the small planet is marked by innumerable craters. With a diameter of 450 miles, the Rembrandt Crater is the largest impact site on Mercury, and at the same time, one of the largest impact sites in the entire solar system. Yet we have only known that this imposing structure exists at all since 2008. At that time, Messenger succeeded in discovering the structure, which is estimated to be 3.9 billion years old during its second flyby. Other surface features of Mercury include the so-called escarpments, multiple structures hundreds of miles long that have elevation differences of up to a mile. Venus With its solid surface, Venus, just like Mercury, Earth, and Mars, joins the list of the four rocky planets of the solar system. Venus is the planet that comes closest to our Earth on its journey through space. The minimum distance between the two celestial bodies is only about two million miles. If we consider the Earth-like mass and the size of Venus, it becomes clear to us why our neighboring planet was often called the twin sister of our earthly home in the past. But it's a comparison that fails when we take the atmosphere of Venus into view. It consists of more than 95% carbon dioxide. The fact that the surface surface of the planet is always hidden from our terrestrial view is again due to the impenetrable, always closed cloud cover. The dense veil of clouds is composed mainly of toxic sulfuric acid, which falls into the lower layers of the atmosphere in the form of corrosive rain. As the surface of Venus heats up to an average of 869 degrees Fahrenheit, the planet's soil is constantly gray hot. In addition to highlands, impact craters and coroni, Volcanic formations are among the characteristic objects on Venus. With a height of five miles, Matt Munns is the largest volcano on the planet. However, not all volcanic structures there have the typical shape of a fire mountain. For example, an unnamed Venusian volcano is strikingly reminiscent of a tick in shape. Mars a cursory glance is enough to understand why Mars is appropriately called the Red Planet. For example, the surface of the solar system's fourth planet bristles with shimmering reddish iron oxide dust. The thin atmosphere of Mars, which is composed of about 96% carbon dioxide, appears as a hazy veil in the images. Our cosmic neighbor is also impressive in terms of its natural surface structures. The 2400 mile long, up to 4.5 mile deep, and up to 420 mile wide, Valles Marineris 
is one of the largest rift valley systems in the solar system. When it comes to gigantic volcanoes, no other structure comes close to the impressive dimensions of Olympus Mons. At 86,600 feet, the object at the foothills of the Tharsis region represents both the tallest mountain and the largest volcano in the entire planetary system. Jupiter Big, bigger Jupiter. With an equatorial diameter of 90,000 miles, this cosmic giant is the undisputed leader of the largest planets in the solar system. In contrast to the celestial bodies presented so far, however, Jupiter is not a solid planet, but a gaseous planet composed mainly of light chemical compounds. A look at the overall view of Jupiter shows that the planet is adorned by countless bands of different colors. Researchers suspect that this natural pattern is created by ammonia ice, phosphorus, sulfur, and hydrocarbons. Just how powerful the forces at work in the cosmos are is demonstrated by the Great Red Spot. This is a gigantic anticyclone that has been spinning through the uppermost atmospheric layers of Jupiter for at least 200 years. However, the size of the roaring object seems to be decreasing steadily. In the 1880s, Astronomers estimated the length of the object at 24,000 miles, whereas its current size is about 10,000 miles. But Jupiter's other hurricanes also continue to arouse the interest of researchers. Measurements have shown that the wind speeds inside the so-called White Oval amount to 350 miles per hour. Saturn why Saturn is known as the ring planet should be clear to each of us. What can easily be mistaken for a single, enormous disk at first glance turns out to be a complex network of tens of thousands of individual ring orbits when you take a closer look. These consist for the most part of water ice and rock particles separated from each other by sharply defined gaps. They have diameters of between 80,000 and 600,000 miles. However, no one has clarified conclusively how the ring planet attained this characteristic feature. One theory is that the rings are the relics of a moon that once came too close to Saturn and broke apart due to tidal forces. Opposing this is the theory that the rings were formed at the same time as the planet and from the same cloud of material. However, the iconic ring orbits are not the only constant companions of the second largest member of our planetary system. Saturn is orbited by at least 82 moons. The largest of all these satellites is called Titan and has a diameter of 3,000 miles. Uranus Together with Neptune, Uranus forms the squadron of the ice giants. But in truth, most of its material is not in frozen form, but rather a hot, supercritical fluid. Discovered in 1781 by Frederick Wilhelm Herschel, Uranus is about five times larger than our Earth, with a diameter of 30,000 miles. Its average distance from the Sun is 1.7 billion miles. It takes about 84 years before the ice giant has completely orbited our host star. Just like Saturn, the seventh planet of the solar system has its own ring system, although it is much sparser. That the celestial body appears as a bluish object in the photographs is due to the fact that the methane gas in the atmosphere reflects the reddish part of the incident sunlight while the blue part can pass through this layer unhindered. Neptune about 3 billion miles. This is the average distance that gapes between our Earth and remote Neptune. With a diameter of about 30,000 miles, the distant celestial body is the fourth largest planet in the solar system. At the same time, the eighth and outermost member of our planetary system has a dominating influence on its surroundings and is accompanied by 14 known moons. Just as in the case of Uranus, Neptune's blue color is due to the light-absorbing influence of methane. As part of its exploration mission, NASA's Voyager 2 spacecraft discovered the so-called Great Dark Spot in the late 1980s. This cyclone system is comparable to Jupiter's Great Red Spot and immediately aroused great interest among terrestrial researchers before it suddenly disappeared. Why the mighty structure apparently dissolved is not known. One explanation says that the great dark spot fell victim to the heat coming from the planet's core, which disturbed the equilibrium of the atmosphere. Now we want your opinion. Which image captivated you the most? We're already curious about your comments. Do you want to see more exciting videos about outer space? Then take a look at the other contributions of our channel, which we have linked for you in the credits. Thanks for your interest. Take care and we'll see you next time.